Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educated videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe After Effects. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create the Particles Polygon text effect animation to make your videos much more attractive. So let's get started. At first, create a new composition and set the overall setting of the composition. Then go to the timeline panel and right click on it. Now go to new and select solid. Choose your desired background color and click on OK. Then go to the effects and presets panel and search for gradient ramp. Select it and drop it over the background layer. Now go to the effects control panel. Under the gradient ramp, you will find the option called ramp shape. From ramp shape, choose radial ramp. Adjust the gradient option underneath and click on swap colors to switch the colors. Again, jump to your timeline panel and create a new solid layer. Name this solid layer particles polygon. Then click on OK. Select the Particles Polygon layer and go to the Effects and Presets panel. Search for CC Particle System 2 and set the birth rate to 1.5 and longevity to 1.3 seconds. Now drop down the options for position. Adjust the position so that it looks like it's moving from left to right. Then set radius Y to 0.0. .0. Similarly, drop down the options of physics. Choose twirly for the animation option. Now set the velocity to 0.3, inherit velocity percent to 0.0, .0 gravity to 0.0, .0 and set the resistance to 10.0. Again, drop down the options for particle. Choose tripolygon from particle type. Then choose Fade Out Sharp from Opacity Map. Set the color map to Origin to Death. And the Transform Mode to Screen. So, again create a new solid layer and name it Flare. Select the Flare layer and go to the Effects and Presets panel. Search for Lens Flare Effect. Drag and drop it over the Flare layer and adjust the Flare to the center. Then set Flare Brightness to 15%, Lens Type 205mm Prime. Again go to the Timeline panel and select the Flare layer. From the Mode option of the Flare layer, choose Add you will be able to see it like so on the composition panel. Drop down the option of the flare layer and adjust the position of it. Again, drop down the option of particles layer and copy the position of the producer and paste it to the position of the flare layer. Now let's overview it from the beginning of the composition. Again, 
create a new solid layer using the white color. Then create a text layer over it. Select both the text layer and the white solid layer. Now pre-compose the layers. Again, create a new solid layer and name it Particles Inside Layer. Then click on OK. Select the Particles Inside Layer and go to Effects. Now choose Simulation and select CC Particles System 2 in the Effects Control Panel. Here set the birth rate to 100.0 and longevity to 10.0 seconds. Again under producer set radius x to 250 and radius y to 220. Similarly drop down the option of physics and set the direction to 0 times 100 degrees. And the other options animate to explosive, velocity, inherit velocity percent, and resistance to 0.0. Again, drop down the options of particle. Set the particle type to tripolygon. Bird size to 0.22. Size variation to 50%. Set the opacity map to fade in, max opacity to 75%, color map to origin to death, and transfer mode to screen. Now drag the particles inside layer to just below the text layer. Set the luma inverted matte text to particles inside text. Again, pre-compose the text and particles inside the layer. And drag the pre-com1 underneath the particles polygon layer. Now, let's play it from the beginning. So duplicate the particles polygon layer. Uncheck the eye of the above particles polygon layer. Then select the below particles layer. Go to the effects control panel and drop down the option of particle. Set the color map to birth to death. Opacity map to constant. Max opacity to 100% and transfer mode to screen. Again, create a new white solid layer. Drag the second particle polygon layer over the flare layer. Now, go to the effects and presets panel. Search for linear white effect and drag it to the white solid layer too. Adjust the linear wipe option until it looks good. Select both the first and second layers and pre-compose them. Drag the pre-comp 2 layer below the particles polygon layer. Then set the track mat of pre-comp 1 layer to luma mat pre-comp 2. Now you can see the result in the composition panel. Here, turn the eye on for every layer. Finally, play the entire composition from the beginning. That's it. Now you know exactly how to create the particles polygon text effect animation in Adobe After Effects. Make sure to tag me in your creations, I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay safe, stay creative and have a good time.